Hi, I'm Peter Matavish and welcome back to another D Street story. This one we're doing a tree from the 2016 paper. So I'm not gonna bother reading through this art there. So the drawing on the right shows uh, axis A A1, the directrix D D1, and a focus uh, of one such hy hyperbola. The hyperbola has an eccentricity of three to two. So A locate the position of the vertex and draw a portion of the hyperbola. Note it is only necessary to draw one branch, so you don't have to do the base one here and just do one section of it and then B do a tangent at point P which is 90 or 60 mil from the focus so let's draw the we do part A first so in order to draw this read the line is just and you see here it told you it is 3 to 2 so if we go up 3 increments on the directrix and into it give us an angle that we can uh, draw for our line is interesting so so 5 mils might be easy so if we go 10 mil in here to the right hand side and 50 mil up and by joining that back to our where axis hits, hits the directrix that will give you your line is interesting Uh, next thing we're going to do says um, draw a portion of the curve. So we need the vertex. Um, if we bring our focus point, you know, we need our, a line from the focus point. We need to bring that all the way up anyway, so bring that straight up. But where it hits the line, it's interesting, it's going to give you a point on the curve. So this is going to be a point on the hyperbola already. To find the vertex, draw a 45 degree line from their focal point. Back to you hit the line, it's interesting. And that will be directly above your vertex. Now it's just a portion of the curve, so I'm going to mark just two more points out here, and where I'm going to mark, maybe use this line here that I use for interesting for another line, just to get a point in between those two. Okay, so I'll do one, and then I'll fast forward to the rest. I'm going to go with this point here and then I'll fast forward for this. So if you draw it straight up until you hit the line, it's interesting. Draw that back parallel to the axis to your focus line. Pin and compass at the focus point, lead at your height here. Draw that back down and that's giving you a height and a point on your curve for that line. And you do the same with the other one. So this one and this one here. And we go and do a further one up. Just to make sure we um, get our point for the tangent. So draw your point up to hit the line of history. Turn it back to the focal line. And then draw an arc from the focal point down to your original line. So I'll fast forward to the rest now. Okay, so that's part A done. We have our vertex put in and then a portion of the curve. And I said only do one branch, so we need to do the base one here. Part B now, locate uh, point P on the curve, which is 60 mil from the focus and uh, construct a tangent to the curve of point B. So let's get 60 mil in our compass and draw an arc from the focal point to figure out where point P is. Okay, so first thing we do is to join that point P back to the focus point. I might put this in with a colour just so it stands out and go in yellow. So once you join your point P back to the focal point, get a perpendicular angle, 90 degree angle to that line from point F to hit the directrix. So when you hit your directrix here, we call that point T. That, if you were to extend your tangent, it would go to that point T. So I'll join that point T back to point P, and that will give you your tangent. Okay, so that's your tangent to your point P on the curve, which is 60 mil away from point F. So, uh, just like these last few from 2016, I hope they look similar to what you did on the, on the exam yourself. And as always, if it helped, please leave a like, and we'll see you in the next one.